when Facebook, or as Facebook increasingly becomes a filter for how we encounter the internet, encounter information online, the kinds of things that Facebook determines are important and that Facebook determines are unimportant, that they're not going to pay attention, not going to link to, these become determinants of how you know, millions of individuals see the world. You know, Facebook becomes that ultimate filter. You know, if Facebook says, or if the people behind Facebook say, we're not going to let you see this, as they have done with a number of political, political Facebook pages, um, then those ideas become invisible to people who are solely filtering their, their reality through, you know, through Facebook. And so in that environment sense, you know, in the sense of the, the understanding the landscape around you, if there are aspects that Facebook says, that Facebook decides are important, you know, Facebook decides that providing this information, making sure everyone knows you know, what the, you know, it's be kind of uh, imaginative, right? the, what the current carbon parts per million is in the atmosphere. And so that is a little number up in the corner of your Facebook or on your augmented reality glasses or whatever, that everyone's going to be, everyone on Facebook is going to have to pay attention to that. Conversely, if Facebook decides that um, people, we don't think people will be interested in getting information about the, uh, the various flows of, of geophysical forces, you know, under, underground rivers or what the temperature is, all these kinds of things about the world around you, that's not important. So we're not going to make any kind of APIs or tools to enable that. Those become harder to access than other kinds of information. 